Well, uh, back with episode two of I'm an Idiot. So, uh, this is where I left off. Um, yeah. Oh, I got my friggin' uh, injector pump seal kit in. Yeah, friggin' right. It's a company called GCL. GCL. Yeah. Freaking awesome. So, oh, dropped a socket. Apologize. Yeah. So, if you guys want to do this by yourself, friggin' that's your part number right there. And yeah, it's cheap too. It's pretty awesome. So, anyways, yeah, GCL. So, I got like friggin' everything to rebuild this thing. And it was like 16 bucks, which is awesome. I was expecting to get just this gasket in between here and the throttle pin gasket, but uh, now you get the whole shebang. Friggin' rights. I said I'm gonna have to stop yapping and start pulling. Yeah. Okay, next time I do this, I'm just gonna scrap the car. <laughs> no, but like, look at this. This is freaking ridiculous. Like, to get that one, I had to use three freaking extensions to get it up high enough, and I had to friggin' just weasel it through there. Finally broke it loose, but oh my frick. Like, this is just stupid. Who the hell does this? God, like, that frickin' thing's like three feet long. Probably gonna frickin' cut my arm off from doing this. I got the two exhaust clamp things off, and there's a... Uh, motor mount that was right behind there. It was pretty easy to get to once you took all the turbo piping off, but I couldn't see it, so I saw it when I moved the light, but yeah, so I got that to come off, and then I think I think it might be good. I'll have to undo that guy there. I think that might be the speed sensor. I'm pretty sure it's the speed sensor. And then uh, that coolant line there the two power steering lines. Um, frick. So I also priced out a clutch for this thing. At the cheapest uh, parts store that I could find, it was 100 bucks. Because they have to friggin' air fly it in from Vancouver, which sucks. But, uh, yeah, away she goes. I didn't buy it. I'm gonna see if anything's compatible. My brother's got a Celica clutch disc up there, and looks like it's the same size and stuff. Like, uh, seven and th three eighths, I think. So anyways, I'll get this off and then see if she'll come out. But I still have to disconnect this guy, which I have no freaking idea how. Frig sakes. I'll try friggin' prying it in the middle again and see if it disconnects somehow. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, you know what? Next time I'm filling it up through the speed sensor hole. Frig that. <laughs> not filling it there. So. Okay, yeah, so I got the speed sensor out. It was not too bad at all. It's uh, Torx 40, I think. 45? 45. It's Torx 45. Let's see if I can focus it for you guys. 45. Yeah. So now, I just have to figure out this stupid donkey thing. somewhere safe. Damn it. Oh, and I got the axles to do as well. Yeah. Okay, I figured it out. I don't know how well you guys can see this. But, uh, oh, there you go. See? The uh, friggin' cable pulls down and there's two clips that hold it on. So I gotta pull the cable down slightly and then friggin' uh, take the clips off. Yeah. That's all there is to it. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Friggin' rights. Okay, so this is the first cable, or the first clip. It's, uh... This is the one that you slide off, and then it goes that one, and then this one goes right on top of that, so... That's what you're dealing with. You gotta pull the cable down, slide this clip out, and then, uh... Let the cable go and it'll friggin' pop up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hate putting this back in though. But, uh, I think 
I just have axles and power steering hoses to do. Oh, and that one coolant hose still. And then, uh, like I've said before, Bob will be your uncle. Yeah. This is such a pain in the ass. All for a damn clutch. Okay, well I got that coolant line off. Um, I forgot the block heater over there. It's a good thing I friggin' checked that out because I didn't want to friggin' wreck that. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think the only thing holding this in now is the axles and the power steering, which is going to be a hag to get off because this high pressure line, it, um, oh, I'll show you guys. It looks like crap. Kind of see it, kind of. What are you looking at? Oh, right there. That guy. That's gonna be a son of a to get off. Maybe, maybe I could just friggin' disconnect the power steering pump and leave it in the engine bay. That might be easiest. Cause then I don't lose my power steering fluid either cause I have to buy enough frickin' fluids as it is. But uh, yeah, so I don't know about these axles, but they're a special friggin' socket. It's like, um, I think it's called a triple square actually. It's something weird. There's like, it's like an inverted 12 point, except there's like way more than 12. Or maybe there's not, but I don't know. In any case, I don't have the right tool. So unless there's another way to pull the axles that I don't know, um, I'm going to have to freaking pony up and buy the damn tool. Unless one of my buddies has got one that I can borrow. But, um, yeah, it's like minus 15 out now or something. It's getting cold, so... I'm going to go inside and warm up. And, uh, get at this tomorrow. Yeah. Once I get the motor out, I'm going to start taking this thing apart. Oh, I'm all zoomed in still. I apologize. I'll zoom out. See, it's so cold the camera doesn't want to respond. Yeah, but um, yeah, so I got four bolts on there to get off and then she'll friggin' pop off. Oh, actually, I have to undo all the, th all the friggin' throttle linkages and the springs and stuff. Apparently, it's, it's not very fun to get the springs back on, so I'll have to uh, be very careful. So those things hurt, apparently. Yeah, that's that motor mount I was talking about. It uh, it's pretty easy. It's just those three bolts in a triangle shape. There, they're 13 mils. Um, yeah. Other than that, I think she's just about ready to come out. And this is a Garrett turbo. It's pretty sweet. Very, very little shaft play, which is freaking awesome. Once it gets hot, it's a little bit more play. But yeah, Garrett. I think this is a T3 then, if this is a Garrett, what does that say, AR42? I don't know, I don't really know what turbos and stuff mean, like the markings and stuff and stuff like that, I don't really know what it means, but uh, yeah, I got a Garrett turbo, friggin' right. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Okay, well... Anyways, I'm done for the night, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Take care.